Drive-in movie theaters have seen a surge in business during the pandemic. It's a great way for moviegoers to go and enjoy a film while staying socially distanced. And Austin has a rich history of drive-in theaters. Here's the backstory with Bob Buckaloo. Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. And so began a night's entertainment from the comfort of your car. The drive-in theater, such a big deal in the 1950s and 60s with nearly 4,000 drive-ins in towns large and small across America. 25 cents a car plus 25 cents for each person in the car back then. Patrons were enticed to the concession stand with mouth-watering pictures of the gastronomic treats that awaited them. There were six major theaters in Austin during the so-called Golden Age. Joseph's Drive-In opened in 1940 on North Lamar. The name was changed to the North Austin Drive-In in 1947. That was also the year that the Chief Drive-In opened at North Lamar and Justin Lane. Other drive-ins opening back then, the Montopolis, the South Austin, and the Delwood. In 1950, the Burnett Road Drive-In opened, and you can still see its original marquee. This is where hundreds of cars once parked to catch a movie. Now row after row of self-storage units. But it was seeing that marquee that inspired a modern day drive-in theater impresario named Josh Frank. I kind of pulled up on the side of the road and I saw the sign looking like a drive-in sign. And I could imagine this vast, once vast drive-in. It was inspiring and it was kind of special and sweet. And I just started, you know, the, 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 the the ideas started turning like, I, you know, maybe there's really something here. And this was Josh's idea to start his own drive-in theater in Austin. So today he runs the Blue Starlight Theaters. Not as big as the Burnett, but popular among movie lovers who missed out on the good old days. And across the country, little drive-ins have been popping up. Now nearly 400 of them coast to coast. As they say, sooner or later, everything old is new again. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.